Hi, I'm the Rap Critic. Uh, sorry about last week, I had to take a little family vacation, so what do we have queued up for this week? No, no, let's, let's do someone else. What? No, no, another rapper that's on the charts, please. Rack City, bitch. Wait, didn't you just play that one? I'm faded, faded. Someone who's not on Young Money. No. All my exes live in Texas. Seriously, is there any rap artist on the charts right now who's not affiliated with Young Money? What? <laughs> Kurt Cobain's not a rapper. Also, he's unbelievably dead. What? There's a rapper named... Kurt Cobangs? Um, okay, well, this is an obvious callback to the grunge rocker himself, but he doesn't look very Kurt Cobain. His name actually is Kirk Randall, but that reference to such an important figure in pop music history has to have some sort of significance. Maybe... Oh, I got it. Look at mainstream hip-hop. Male artists having questionably effeminate fashion choices while stuck in a glossy, purely hedonistic lifestyle in their music remind you of something? Rock music in the late 80s to early 90s. Someone had to come along and do something different, to be a leading force with a new sound and atmosphere to their music. And through that necessity, Nirvana came and brought grunge and alternative rock into the main. Wait, I think we have an interview with the guy. Uh, let's see what he has to say about his name and the correlation to such a musical icon. First, my name was like Captain Kirk and this kid and all that stuff was too generic, so I was like Kirk O'Bain, you know? Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because it sounded cool. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I was just, I was just getting optimistic there for a second. Well, who knows? He could still bring a new energy to a genre that really needs it. So let's check out his hit single, "Drank in My Cup." Man, that does not sound like a good indicator. I didn't care enough, hold up. Hey, I know Texas is known for its slowed down, chopped and screwed style, but this is starting to sound a little bit I like. I didn't care enough, hold up, grip the grain, roll up, and your girlfriend want a nigga like me, cause I ain't trying to control her. She called me when she want to change, black diamond in my pants. Are you sure you don't want to call yourself Jurake? I mean, wow. Drowsy beat, a delivery that sounds like he's half asleep, and vocals tinted with autotune? The only thing he's missing is random iterations of ah. But hey, you know what? Maybe it just happens to be his style. I mean, it is possible that other rappers have similar styles, and it's usually those striking similarities that are the reason certain artists get signed. However, these artists can usually overcome their preceding doppelgangers if they have a consistent quality to back them up, at least in my eyes. I didn't came down, hold up, grip the grain, roll up, and your girlfriend want a nigga like me, cause I ain't trying to control her. Ah, yes, another song where a rapper wants to have sex with your girlfriend. Yes, specifically your girlfriend. Either that or the intended purpose to the plethora of haha ha, I'm having sex with your girlfriend songs is for the listener to sing along, putting them in the perspective of the narrator. Which leads me to ask, Wow, you think all your fans are douchebags, don't you? Huh, that seems a little insulting. She called me when she want to change Black diamond my pinky ring And she know you weak and we ain't the same Wait, what does the black diamond pinky ring have to do with anything? Is that the type of change she wants? I'm tired of the boyfriend I have. I want a guy who... Black diamond pinky ring. Yep, that's my only qualification. She want a man, don't need a man. Then why does she already have one? No, seriously. This song is about a girl cheating on her boyfriend. If wanting a man implies a relationship on a pure desire level, and needing a man implies a relationship on an emotional connection level, and you're saying that she doesn't need a man, then, again, why does she have a boyfriend? But what do the girls listening to this song care? He just said that you don't need a man. He's all about women's independence. Sure. Draped up. I'm sorry, what? Draped up. Oh, I thought you said something else. Girl, I know how much you really want somebody. Want somebody that don't really need you. And again, you're trying to shoehorn in the whole you're an independent woman angle, seeing that this is a song for the ladies. But after the lyric about this girl's aforementioned soul attraction to guys who can afford to waste money on black diamond pinky rings, I doubt this girl is looking to be self-sufficient. Is it me or does he sound annoyed there? Uh, listen to that again. Okay. 
So the title of this song and the aspect of this story about sex with someone else's girlfriend that you want us to remember the most is that you have a beverage. She didn't even pour it for you. No, no, that wouldn't somehow relate to the story. You just have one. Oh, and it's drank, which of course is short for purple drink, which of course is slang for cough syrup. Made popular by DJ Screw, one of the most influential DJs from Texas who actually invented the chopped and screwed style. How's he living? Well, he's not. He, he's dead. He died at 29 from a cough syrup overdose. Have fun, kids. I didn't came down, came up, slow pitch, change up. As far as what this song is about, I'm pretty sure you just said nothing. Same hood, same style, same drink, same cup. <sighs> okay, so here's what we like to call the filler verse. This is where an artist pretty much said everything he needed to say in the first verse, but then he realized that he still had to write at least one more, and so he just says stuff. And here we are. Same page, same book. Yes, keep using short phrases. You'll be at 16 bars before you know it. Lips bite, lips right, she left a man for that get right. Oh wait, here's some development. So finally, she left her boyfriend for better sex with Mr. Kirko here, and I'm actually okay with that, because now, her ex-boyfriend doesn't have to worry about that hoe, or his cheating ex-girlfriend anymore. I'm in the middle like midnight, and only if you got that sit tight. Okay, so he's gonna give her some smooth Casanova type loving, and all she has to do is sit there? Uh, sounds simple enough. I mean, he's not asking her to do anything. Only so. if you got that wine fine. Wait. Only if you got that sip type. Um. Only if you got that mind bomb. Only if you got that sip type. That's a lot of conditions there, dude. Especially since the words only if usually apply to more singular demands. I mean, first all you want her to do is lie there, but only if you got that wine fine. Also, she has to moan well enough for you. Only if you got that sip type. Then she has to drink good enough for you only if you got that mind bomb then she has to be able to give oral sex which kind of ruins the whole sitting still thing only if you got that zip tight and now you wanted to bring a zip tight a zip, a zip tight what a tight put oh eat that shit like wine time well hey at least he's offering something in return joking baby i'm pimp type oh so he's not and was joking despite the fact that he still wants oral sex from her i'm sure she'll take that well I'm used to being there, one and done, but girl, you got you that. Get right. But it's not right enough for me to go down on you. Blah. That's like something lesbians do. <laughs> but about that blowjob. But seriously, I'd give this song a 5 out of 5. It's got a nice beat that really had you fooled for a second, didn't I? <laughs> but for real, I'd give this song a 2 out of 5 stars. It's such an example of the typical rap song of this era of hip-hop down to a T, it's kind of ridiculous, especially considering he's representing Texas, a state that hasn't been getting a lot of mainstream buzz in a while. And I listened to some of Kirko's older stuff in comparison to his newer stuff, and it was clear, this guy is definitely borrowing pieces of Drake's style. Whether he's doing it consciously or his label is grooming him that way, that's just how he sounds. I mean, it has a very distinctive Texas style to it, but the Drake overtones are just way too obvious. It's predictable and it's average, and that's a shame. I'm the rap critic. You don't have to like my opinion, but I don't have to like your song. 